what's up guys so wanted to make an update today even with all the chaos that's been going on with the house and like a couple bumps in the road and with having an eventful Saturday we're getting some work done on the house I am going right now to attempt to get my printer for my heat transfers as well as the press and my paper so small steps but I feel like giant leaps because getting some shit done and getting some uh, some necessities all right so an update all right guys so I got my printer show you my printer in a second um, just got it from the local Walmart um, I'll explain why I got the one I got um, and like what I spend and shit like that um, very much trying to keep my cost low my overhead needs to be very minimal because like I said I got other real life bills and regular shit I gotta pay for um, but disappointed because I went to the Michaels that's literally across the street from my house and I just assumed that they would have what I need in stock and they had nothing in stock nothing they didn't have I was gonna get like one of the cricket mobile heat presses um, they didn't have it in stock they only had the smaller ones which I don't need I don't need something too small um, they didn't have that they didn't have any of the heat transfer paper I was looking for um, so I'm gonna be looking online for um, my heat press and my heat transfer paper materials um, hopefully I can find some online and get it um, on Amazon or something and get it just overnight shipped and get it in like, tomorrow or Wednesday um, just because I felt really good getting out and going to get my equipment and then it got shot down by Michael's not having shit in stock which sucks and then the other closest one that has one it's like fucking 15 miles from here, which I'm not trying to drive that. And then the coupons don't work on the cricket machines, which sucks. Sign up for text messages and all, and I don't get no fucking percentage off. But it is what it is. What's up, guys? So I'm going to be talking to you guys about my brand new heat press and printer. And... I already put it to work, started experimenting with it, so I wanted to kind of give you guys some feedback on, on the product from my take, um, some positives, some negatives, why I chose the product I did, why I chose the machinery I did, and um, what I think of it so far. But super excited to uh, have my product and start learning and um, taking these steps in the right direction. Uh, so first things first. Um, I got my heat press here, got my printer there, um, this is my new workstation, um, different scenery, this is actually going to be my workstation slash my sneaker room slash my guest room, because my daughter uh, took over my other sneaker room, and yeah, um, I only got three bedrooms, so. Uh, eventually my my workstation is gonna be moved into my garage but it's summertime in Florida I'm not doing that um, anyways though so the printer that I got that I went with uh, was nothing special nothing crazy expensive I got the HP DeskJet 4152 the DeskJet Plus uh, 4152 um, it is uh, one of the major things that I was looking for that I got um, I found helpful on a YouTube channel or a YouTube video um, I forgot who plugged it in but the instant ink was a big thing for me I wanted to get a printer that had the instant ink um, because um, with printing shirts you can go through ink pretty quickly so it has that setup 
Um, it has different functions, the faxing, the copying. Um, it prints pretty well. Um, the setup was easy. And it was like $80 or something, maybe even less. Um, we got it at Walmart. Um, so, I mean, it just worked out good. I mean, it was a good price. And I got no complaints on it right now. Um, I printed some things already on it. Um, tested out the just regular printing. Um, tested out the colors. Printed on some transfer paper. Um, and so far, so good. I can't complain. The, um, I just got to start gauging how much ink goes how quickly. Um, and then we'll see from there. But so far, so good. Uh, once again, that was the Desk Jet Plus 4152 from HP, which was, I mean, not a plug at all. Um, <laughs> it's just a product I bought at Walmart. It had the best deal, and it had the instant ink, like I said. Um, instant ink seems pretty um, pretty legit. It was an easy setup as well, and hopefully I get my ink in as good as quick as I need it. Um, one thing I got to do, I got to keep in mind, that is that they do recommend to keep your uh, printer on at all times, so that way... The network can read your printer and see when you need to be um, ordered. Your ink needs to be ordered and um, shipped out to you. Now for the heat press that I got, um, man, I went through so many ups and downs with trying to get a damn heat press. I I looked at different ones. I looked at um, get this this focus. I looked at the Cricut from Michaels. I looked at um, like the five in ones on Amazon. I looked at the different sizes of the crickets. Um, I looked at the, the I believe it was the twelve by ten. I looked at the nine by nine. Um, one of the big things that I liked about the cricket is that it's so mobile. Then that's a big thing for me because eventually I want to get to a point where I can set up shop anywhere, produce, press, sell, all on the mobile. And that was key and for the cricket. I mean, I've seen some good things from the cricket, and it seems legit and it seems good. On the downside of that, though, it's almost too good. Like I couldn't find one. Getting them online was more expensive than getting in the store. Getting them in store was virtually impossible because they're sold through and they're restocked. It was not ideal right now because of the whole COVID nineteen. Um, so I did some searching online, looked at what was feasible price-wise what made sense as far as um, different um, benefits of different characteristics of the press things I wanted to look at I know um, just once again watching different YouTube videos people working on heat presses just a little bit of research having the swing bar was huge um, which as you can see it has um, that's one of the big benefits also, too, is I wanted to make sure that the temperature got up to a, a fair amount so that way I wasn't having any issues when I was pressing on different materials. Um, so I think leave this press goes up to 399, um, so just shy of 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So that was a big thing for me as well, too. I didn't want to have to worry about that. Um, and I didn't get a smaller one. I got a 12 by 10 because I'm a grown man. I'm gonna be working, making grown adult clothes as well as kid clothes. I got a daughter. I got family, but I didn't want to like be boxed into making only smaller stuff because I'm trying to start a clothing line, I'm trying to produce adult clothes. So I didn't want any hiccups uh, with producing and pressing a large stuff, um, which I mean I'll touch base on that a little bit more um, in a minute. But um, the heat press that I went with. Um, I randomly was just looking on Walmart's website and I got the Zen style, the Zen style 12 by 10, which was totally by accident. I was, I don't, I'm not familiar with the brand. I'm not familiar with any, anything of that sort. Um, but the Zen style 12 by 10 cost me $130. So not bad at all not bad at all $130 for the heat press um, the setup was super easy it came virtually set up already um, didn't have to do any uh, miscellaneous labor on putting it together um, one of the big things that I also liked about it was the wiring on it the wiring on it is connected it's molded in so there's no plugins in the back that can come in and out when you're moving things around 
um, which is one of the feedback that I've seen on various YouTube channels is that some heat presses have where the plug, you plug it in and out. So while you're pressing, those plugs can come undone, can mess up the press. If you're mid-press and it comes undone and the heat starts cooling down, I'm sure it's going to fuck up your t-shirt or whatever you're pressing. Um, but so that was one of the big things on too. We came came connected. It's it's uh, it's soldered in, um, so that that core is not coming out. Like I said, it has a swing bar, um, heats up to a good temperature, so I can press on various uh, materials, various fabrics. Um, and then the price was good, one hundred and thirty dollars for a heat press. I mean, you're gonna pay more for a Cricut smaller size. I mean, and that's some feedback for it. I mean, I tested it out. I'll show you guys my my um first couple tries with pressing ever never done anything like this before my first couple tries with pressing and I mean it works pretty good uh, the press it's easy to understand the manual that came in was pretty simple and basic but it's pretty straightforward it tells you what to do to set up the timer what to do to set up the temperature you need um, I do wish that it kind of gave some guidelines as far as temperatures for different fabrics um, I believe some transfer papers might have that guidelines. Um, I'll touch base on that in a minute, but outside of that, man, I mean, it works good. The swing bar comes in handy because taking putting the t-shirt, uh, putting the t-shirt on and off. Um, obviously, having the the plate out the way is huge. It came with two cushions, so that way you're not burning anything. It's um, it, it's kind of condensing that heat pretty well. Um, it's easy setup, like I said. Um, the only drawback, in which I don't even know if it's a drawback, so I can't compare it to any other heat press, because I've never worked with any, um, is that it takes a minute to heat up. Um, I've been pressing on cotton at about 380 degrees, um, and it's been taking a little minute to heat up, which isn't a too big of a deal, because what I usually do is I'll just prep it, have it heating up while I'm prepping kind of um, my transfer sheets or doing a cutouts or whatever I'm doing, uh, last minute setup. Um, but, I mean, I got no complaints about it at all. It's a learning process, so there's going to be a learning curve for me with kind of trial and error stuff. But so far, so good. Um, so with the printer and with the heat press, I can't complain. It's been it's been pretty good so far. The fuck-ups that have happened on the shirts and my practice runs have been on me. Because, like I said, I'm brand new to this. I don't know basically what I'm doing. So I'll trial and error, and it's the research that I've done on YouTube and kind of watching um, some of you guys do what you're doing on your channels. Um, but uh, the paper that I got, I got it from Michaels. Um, I actually got it on a pretty good deal because some of the packets that a Michaels has is pretty expensive. It's like $15 for like some dark transfer sheets, like three sheets, which is pretty pricey. And then like $15 for like 10 light transfer sheets. Um, but the ones that I got are I got the uh, the June Taylor dark transfers and I got the Joe Lee's light transfers. Um, like I said they're a little bit pricier, but I got to actually. I mean, my thing with Michaels is I got the coupons, um, so I got it on a good deal. I got it actually like 50% off because I had a 30% and a 60% and it worked on a good deal. So, I mean, I'm not losing too much money with me, you know, doing these, these test runs on these sheets that are typically more expensive. Um, but I mean, the feedback from those, like I said, it's a learning experience for me. So I had to do, um, with the light transfer paper, um, learning that it's a hot pill and how quickly I need to peel it off. <laughs> was <laughs> that's a learning process um, first run I did it is uh, I'll show you um, I didn't peel it off as quickly as I needed to and on one of the sections it didn't it didn't it didn't uh, transfer as good as I would like um, so that's one of the one of the drawbacks but like I said I, I mean the, the next runs I did after that were smooth though I mean I got, I got them going good after that um, with the dark transfer sheets um, Actually, I like the, the setup of that better um, in certain aspects. Um, I, you don't have to mirror your image, which is awesome. Um, the peel is so much easier because you, um, 
you don't have to peel it right away. You just do the put the parchment paper over it, um, and it's pressed, and it's kind of like a, a little bit more of a colder peel. Um, the only drawback, though, with the dark transfer paper for me, and it's something I need to learn, is that your cutout or your image has to be on um, point. It has to be on um, point to the edges because, for me at least, because otherwise it looks, I don't know I mean how people feel about it, but it looks sloppy because you see the transfer darkness on the dark garment. Um, and you see the darkness with the, the transfer paper, and it's a, it's a different shade, and it's it makes it's pretty obvious for me. So the when it's not on point, when the image or the design isn't um, cut out exactly on the line or exactly on point, it's pretty obvious, uh, which is something I don't like. Um, but that's gonna come with time. I need to be able to get better with kind of using my exacto knife or cutting up a design dead on, so that way you don't see those those different you know those off cuts of the of the of the transfer paper um but uh, i'm gonna be kind of like testing out some different transfer sheets some different transfer paper because i want to see what's the best bet um as far as works the best what transfers the best um neither one came with like guidelines again with like temperature to transfer at um temperatures for different fabrics like it's it I, I wish it would have came with that. I'm sure some some companies are you know do that. Um, the the dark transfer paper, the uh, Taylor's June Taylor's ink, that had a little bit better instructions, a little bit more like not instructions, but yeah, I guess instructions um, as far as like how to um, properly transfer on the sheet, what to do, how to press it, uh, things of that sort. So I was pretty happy with that. The Joe Lee's um, easy that I mean it it wasn't it wasn't straightforward at all. It more kind of was like tailored to I guess um, people using just an iron. So there's really nothing if you're using the heat press. They don't really kind of like talk about that much at all. Um, the website for the design I think is garbage. Um, the, the, the the website that they're advertising is like a free design. Um, studio so that way you can print easier it's easier all pretty much like an all-in-one shop I think it's garbage I think it's ass and then it's not good um, as a little cheat code to be honest with you I'm testing out my designs and testing out how fonts look and how things look all put together on custom ink I'm playing with different other uh, websites and other um, programs um, but I'm not spending money on Photoshop right now I'm not spending money on different programs of using you know free trials and things that are free Custom Ink is they're just on playing with different designs, different artwork, different fonts um, to kind of see what I like, and then I kind of go on from there. Um, but I'm not spending a bunch of money on programs right now when I don't really want to. I don't need to. I'm not at the level where I need to. Um, eventually, I'll get there, but not right now. Um, but overall, um, I'm not too. I'd give it like about a five out of ten for the transfer papers, and um, from Michaels, um, there's they had different options. I had I didn't there was like probably three or four of the different options. Um, for Michaels, I mean they lost out on me getting a cricket because one, I went there to get a cricket. I went to Michaels to get a cricket, and they didn't have it. They were sold out and they couldn't get it in stock and they didn't know when they were gonna get it in stock. Um, it wasn't easily easily ordered online, and the price wasn't. I think the I mean the markup on it is pretty heavy for the sizes. I mean I'm paying probably like eighty dollars more, seventy dollars more for a smaller press. Yeah, it's mobile, but I don't know. I mean I'm pretty happy with the Zen style for about thirty out of Walmart. Cause I mean I can't complain, man. For my printer, um, the printer is solid, man. I'm giving this the printer a good eight, nine out of ten. Um, it's been working good. Uh, easily, easily, easy controls, easy to understand, easy to to work. 
I mean, I really can't complain, not at all, for some, for at the level I'm at and for what I need it for. complain at all um everything else man is gonna be a test run and we'll see how it goes um but i'll get you uh i'll get you some shots of what what uh what things are looking like um and how um how my shirts came out the first few runs um it's gonna be a learning process it's gonna be a good a good size learning curve but they're gonna come out good i'm gonna get there um, I like to think of myself as somewhat of a smart guy, so I'll get to learning and then it gets producing better as I go. Um, and eventually it's a product that people like, some of y'all like. It's a product that you want to be able to spend a few dollars on and support. That's what I'm doing it for. One, I want to be able to have a successful business, but two, I want to be able to give back. If I can produce something that people want, I'm not going to make money to be able to give back money. Give back and produce and, and help each other out. I want to be a philanthropist. Um, That'd be, that'd be huge. That'd be awesome. So let's see if we can get there. Um, outside of that, I'll catch you guys next time. I'll uh, keep up with me, see how the next few runs go, and uh, check out the next video when it's out.